Yo, what's going on gamers, coders, speedrunners, and all-around game enthusiasts? This is Joystick Justin, and I'm back for episode 2 of the Donkey Kong 64 Let's Play. So last time I left off going through this barrel blast, and I just, uh, during, uh, between the videos, I went back and collected the one banana bunch that I missed in here. So, I do have one, I do have one guy on Twitch. Uh, but he says that he's not interacting much, so that's fine. You can just be here, that's fine. Um, so last episode I finished playing the game with Donkey Kong. So... Well, I guess not playing the game, but... Um, Donkey Kong has... You can see in the bottom there's four big golden bananas and he has his one blueprint. And he has his... This is basically he's complete. So for Jungle Japes, I've completed Donkey Kong. Now I'm gonna move to Diddy Kong. And Squawk, hello Diddy. There are five golden bananas for you to find here too. Cool. So I mean, I already knew that because I'm an expert at everything that happens in this game. But go to the top of all these trees. I do know that there's a few of these banana bunches. So, there we go. Um, there's also coins in this corner right here. So, I say that I'm an expert at this game, but in truth, when we get to the later levels, I will probably not know what I'm doing at all. So, I'm gonna like help you guys learn how to play this game, and then we'll have to like work together to figure out the later levels. So I guess I know that there's those few little secret hidden parts. And the best way to beat, beat those guys is make them fall down once and then just slap them with your... This should be killing him. Wow. So there's a proper way to defeat those guys, but for now... It's just that. Um... So, I also want to collect a bunch of Diddy Kong bananas. Um, let me start by buying all of his stuff. So, I can buy, I know that I can buy Chimpy Charge from Frankie's Lab, which lets me do a little charge attack. And I'm gonna need that for a few of the bananas in this game, in this, uh, in this level. So, here we go. You've now got a powerful sh uh, shoulder Bart. I don't even know what he just said, but anyway, what I just got from Cranky Kong was this move, which is a very useful move that I'm going to use to get a few of the bananas in this level. Um, next, um, I'm going to go and get his uh, his guns. You notice I said gun plural. He has two guns. Which is very interesting. I mean, he has just two guns is weird. He has... When he has it, you'll see what I mean. When he has his guns out, he has two little pistol thingies. So I'll just show you. Let me go grab his gun. Alright, there we go. So... In here, you'll see, that's what I meant, peanut pop guns. You've got two of them, but like, it's only like one gun. I don't know how to explain this properly. When you shoot them, he uses both guns at the same time. So if I whip them out, that's how it works. I think it's the fastest shooting speed of anyone in the theme as well. So that's useful. There's two coins there that I want to collect, but now... Let me start with this. Are you serious? I have to, like, aim? Anyway. So I want to get this part done. Because... I just do. Like, most of his- no, most of Diddy Kong's bananas are gonna be in this area. So... Uh, I need to enter this little cave. Oh, 
And across the way, if I hit that, it'll open up a little bridge. I have to aim it properly, though. Yeah, so there's a little bridge. This bridge just pops in out of nowhere like a ghost. I have to cross it without falling off. It's easier said than done. And this will unlock another thing. And then we can go collect that banana. And from my experience, this... Yep, it goes away. But... I did manage to get up here on time. So... Now there's also this, I want to get that. Can I aim? There we go, got it. I need to go back in there because there's a lot more to do than just grab that one gold banana. And gladly... There it is. Gladly it doesn't have to like do the weird cutscene for this little bridge coming out again. There we go. So now we're in here. So let me just go around and collect everything that I can collect. Welcome to the genre of collectibles. So I got all that. I want to just. I'm not going to collect everything, because eventually, like. You get so many coins that you don't, you just don't need them anymore. But... I still there's a few things I need to do. Um... So I have to open that up. I also want to open that up. And luckily this thing just happens right in front of me, so you don't even have to watch any sort of... cutscene. But, there's also a few things in here that I want to be able to collect. So it's impossible to get up this thing. These conveyor belts move way too fast. Hello? Die, thank you. Those guys can only be killed with bombs, so... But they also drop bombs when they die, which is cool enough. Here you go. So now I need to go over here. This little area has this little switch that switches them to low. So now they slow down and I can actually access the little golden banana. I realize that this doesn't make sense. I called it a big golden banana before and now I'm calling it a little golden banana. I hit myself with that bomb too somehow, that's interesting. This is kind of difficult to coordinate because you can actually fall behind in the back of these conveyor belts, but there you go. Now let's enter this little level. So Squawk's gonna come down again. And he's gonna say, listen up Diddy, collect 50 coins in this pleasant scenic ride. Uh, they tell me how to control, which is my duty that I already know how to do. This guy's going to be here trying to beat me. And I just want to collect 50 coins. And then we'll be good. We'll be set for this level. So I don't want to get hit by this fire. Obviously you don't want to get hit by fire. I missed that coin, that's fine. Oh no, I got hit by a guy. Okay, let's keep going. This guy's gonna blow me up. Don't get killed. That's all you gotta do. Oh, okay, there we go. There's more coins on this side than on the other one. So we'll be good. Uh, also enter an alligator. This is cool. Oh, that guy hit me. That loses me three coins, which is really bad. I need to get it to 50 coins before I defeat this level, so this might be difficult. 
I uh, just jumped over an entire corner. 45, 46, 47. Okay, we're at 50 now, but I can still lose coins, so I want to just keep collecting as many as I can. Alright, I think I'm set now. I think I have enough coins now. I'm not worried about hitting these bombs, because I can just jump over them. And I'm not sure exactly. This one, you, I know you don't want to hit, but there's a coin in front of it. But there's more coins on this side, so you want to get that coin, but do not hit the lever. I think it goes 75. Um, so I got more than I got more than 50, so I got another banana. And then the funny thing is, you come out of this weird area. So here we go. Um, next, I want to go to. I want to get. I want to get Diddy Kong's banana that's over here. And then we'll be set. I think... What are you doing? This guy needs to kill himself, kind of. Okay, let's get this. And that also gave me my medal. There we go. There's a banana. Alright. I'm gonna just use these teleport pads to get over to where I need to be. This timer's not a problem. Timers become a problem later on because they're not very long and you have to like there's one part of the game you have to do something in a ridiculously small amount of time, but for now we're good. I had 12 seconds to spare. And there we go. So there's one more banana. And then we'll be done jungle japes. And this banana is just you walk into a place and take it. So not that difficult. So, in here... Yo, yo, we got Cobra Claw in here now. We are just about to finish the first level of the game. Uh, let me just grab this. Oh, this guy just hit me. We don't hit each other, thank you. And boom, four. Oh, Myler's real. Oh wow, we got all the people showing up in this stream. You're about to watch me do a boss fight. Not sure if you're ready for this. The first thing you guys get to see is a boss fight because if we look at the stats. This is complete. The four to five that the um the blueprint makes that five. And four to five. Boom. So, uh, I'm going to fight a boss. So this boss, I know, has to be fought with Bounce John, and we're actually going to enter the boss fight the proper way. So for those of you who see my speed runs, there's an incorrect way to enter the boss fight that I've done a lot. So this guy needs 60. He's a fat little bum. And boom. And now it tells you you need to fight this boss with Donkey Kong. So here we go. Who's ready for an epic boss fight? Also, like, if you're prone to seizures, this boss fight is not something you want to watch. But, um... Yeah. Because there's lightning that happens in about a minute. Yeah, right here. If you're prone to seizures, you probably don't want to watch what's going on right now. But there's this giant armadillo looking thing. He looks fine. I can fight this guy. 
Look at that. He's got these tiny little cannons. Oh wow, those ti those are not tiny little cannons. Those are huge. And I have to just dodge his fireballs. Wow. And I suck at dodging stuff. And when he gets out of his shell, I can throw over that and explode him. And that's how we beat him. And now, just run from him. And he does this. Run from him. And then he goes back to his spot, you can get back to your spot, and then just dodge his fireballs some more. He also makes the ground, like, have a wave. I don't know how that works, but... And you do this, I think it's three times for this boss. Some of the other bosses are more difficult. But for now, hit him three times. This is one of the most easiest boss fights in the game. In my opinion, the hardest one, other than the final boss fight, of course, is the one for Fungi Forest. You have to fight this giant dragonfly, which you fought, you already fought once, but this time, you're on a timer. You have to just, you have to keep beating up the, this dragonfly with Chunky Kong. I believe I've defeated him. I think it's only three hits. And the little butt gets really scared and like, he, yeah, he also loses his, his blasters. And then spits out a coin out of his butt. He poops out of the coin. That's not a coin, that's a key. He poops out a key. And there you go, that's the boss fight. So, um... Nice doing, Donkey Kong. That's like one of the keys to Kalumzi's cage. Yeah. There we go. So, uh, you guys just witnessed a boss fight. So, there's one more thing I want to do. And then, for the YouTube upload, I'm gonna end the episode. I want to go to Snide's HQ and officially complete this level. I'll have to come back to this level later on with the other Kongs to get all their collectibles. But for now, we're gonna go over here. Try the two. So, this guy... Greetings! Snide's the name. Revenge is my game. Did you know k has been working on his Blastomatic machine and intends to destroy your island? I was a chief technician on that project, but that double-crossed lizard kicked me off his team because he didn't trust me. I'll try to, I'll try to help you stop k -Roll's machine, but you'll need to find me some of your original blueprints. I believe they were given to some of the, the king's toughest cronies, so be careful. For every blueprint you return, I'll give you one of those golden bananas Carol stole from your hoard. No blueprint, no banana. Never know. They might buy you some valuable time. That's the deal. That's the deal, Kong. Aw, oh, splendid, Kong. I see you have my first blueprint there. One golden banana in return. And he has this, like, next level Rube Goldberg machine that he plays with to give you the blueprint. And that is 5 out of 5 banana for Donkey Kong. We'll do the same thing for Diddy Kong. And you can see all your collected blueprints on the full screen. And you do the same thing for Diddy Kong. And then um, we'll be done this level. So, yeah. So, this is the end of episode 2 for you watching this on YouTube, so thank you guys for watching. This has been episode 2. Today we fought a boss and completed Jungle Japes for the time being. In the next episode we're going to enter Angry Aztec, the next level of the game. But for now you can see...
Five out of five, check marks everywhere. Five out of five, check marks everywhere. So there you go. We have defeated Jungle Japes. So in the next episode, we're going to be going and moving on to Angry Aztec to complete more of the game. So thank you for watching. This has been Joyce Justin. See you next time.